been around about a bunch of uh, spring practice starts. I guess tell me how this one is any different uh, than the rest. Well, I think they're a lot of the same. I think anytime you come out early, the guys had a lot of energy. Uh, they moved around. They're fresh. They'll probably never be this fast again. And uh, the soreness will start to sink in here uh, later on today. And when they go into study hall and go to school on Monday, we'll get a chance to see them on Tuesday and see if we can work some of that soreness out of them again. What was your thought process behind uh, um, talking to the guys, sitting them down there at midfield and, and trying to kind of, maybe I guess, get underneath their skin a little bit? <laughs> My thought process was it wasn't right, it was wrong, and it needs to be right. So we're trying to, we're trying to build from the base up, and uh, I know they want to put out a great effort, and it just wasn't quite good enough. How has uh, Dungey uh, sort of, uh, how's he looked to you? How's he feeling to you? Uh, you know, you've seen him out there in the uh, first spring practice. You know, he looks like he knows what he's doing. You know, he's moving around. The ball moved when uh, he was underneath the center, and it, we had some trouble when some other people were underneath the center, and it was good to see him out there. He was out here a minute ago saying he, he views his competition as some of the better quarterbacks in the ACC and nationally rather than maybe anyone else internally. Do you see a clear divide between him and the other quarterbacks in your roster right now? I think the big thing with any quarterback is if you're a starting quarterback that's played two years in the ACC, you need to be not limiting yourself to the competition on your football team. I think it's healthy that he looks at himself as a national person, and I'm glad that he's compared himself to the other top people in the country. One, one more on, on that position specifically. I went back and did some unofficial research, and I think you've only been around a two-quarterback system once in your career about 20 years ago. Do, do you see the, the same makeup on this roster that you did on that Arizona team that you would consider playing both? The big thing about that Arizona team was both of the both the quarterbacks had a lot of experience. So when you rotated them, the ball didn't stop moving. That was I think that offense ended up third in the country when it was all said and done. So we would never consider doing something like that unless we knew the production would stay that high and it was a benefit and it wasn't detrimental to the team. What went into Antoine Cordy <coughs> becoming a, a wide receiver and getting reps in that group? Uh, he's explosive. He's quick. For the last two years on defense, he hasn't been able to finish the season. And from a special teams and an offense or a defensive standpoint, we need to get him to finish the season just like we need Dungy to finish the season. So we're trying to maybe move a position and see if we can keep him healthy so we can have him in October and <laughs> November, which we haven't been able to do for the last two years. I think you can play both ways. Some other guys have done that on other teams in the past. I wouldn't be against it. How do you feel like he's added to the receiver group? Obviously, Steve and you know Irvin, those guys are gone. But now having Antoine and Jamal, how do you feel like the receiver group is sort of looking at it? Antoine has been too early. Antoine doesn't know what he's doing yet. He's still a little banged up from his injury. The other guys know what they're doing. We've got to give him more time before we're going to see what he's going to be capable of doing for us. I think he's good. I think he's got the athletic ability, but he's got a lot of stuff to learn before he can start to produce for us. You're, you're rolling with some younger guys at the free safety position right now. Are you? mining the JUCO and the grad transfer positions at, at that free safety spot to maybe add a guy there? We never look at it like that. It's always, it's almost like the NFL best draft person available. So we we don't know who may come and want to get a degree from Syracuse. When that happens, we'll weigh the pros and the cons. And if we decide to go on somebody, we will. Coach, how are the guys looking physically this year? Is it maybe the year to retire the Ford Pinto analogy? <laughs> You know what? I think the elephants and the hippos have grown up a little bit. You look at these guys, they walk around. They don't look like you know, young boys anymore. They look like young men. And uh, I'm excited to see what the guys in the trenches are going to be able to do this year. Does your excitement level ever uh, diminish on, on opening day in the spring? Or does it kind of remain the same, especially for a group that's led by a senior quarterback? You know, I, was, uh, I, was, I was, felt a little sickly this week. I, wasn't moving as well, didn't get all my, my weight workouts in, felt a little sore, but for some reason today, around 3.30 in the morning, a.m., I got fired up and uh, got out here and started moving around. It was good to be back on the football field. I think everybody's got that attitude right now.